Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 140. Day number 100. And forty. Three thousand one hundred forty. Three is to indicate that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day one forty. We are working on the practice test that you will find at the end of the exam, at the end of the book, on page number three sixty. And today we'll do the very last two question in that section, section number twenty four and twenty five. Question number twenty four, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Turn to page three sixty and read the problem to yourself. This is what it says. It says that we have a sequence a1, a2, a3, all the way on and on and on until an, an plus one, n plus two and so forth, forever and ever. In this sequence that is given to us here on the top, it says in the sequence above, each term after the first term is equal to the preceding term plus the constant k. Preceding term plus the constant k. In other words, the first term is a1, the next term is going to be a1 plus k. Whatever the preceding term was, plus k. The one after that is going to be a1 plus k, which was the preceding term, plus another k. And the next one after is going to be, so that's it, just just boils down to a1, a1 plus 2k. And the next one after it is going to be a1 plus 3k, and so on and so forth, a1 plus 4k, and so on and so forth, a1 plus 4k. And that's about it. So the first term, a1 plus 2k. So our first term is a1 obviously, the second term a2 equals a1 plus k, the third term equals a1 plus 2k, fourth term equals, fourth term will equal a1 plus 3k, fifth term will equal a1 plus 4k, and so forth. We are further told, we are further told that the sum of the first term, the third term and the fifth term, a1, a3, a5 is 27. The question simply is, what is the sum of the second and the fourth term? Second and the fourth term. What we are interested in finding out is the sum of the second term, a2, and the fourth term, if a4. question is, how much is this? Let's see what we can do, shall we? This is what we are given to us. The sum of the first term, the third term, and fifth term is 27, so that's what we're going to start out with. Let's put it on the top here. Remember, the first, the third, and the fifth equal 27, the sum. The first term, the third term, let's put them a little bit far away so we have room. The third term plus the fifth term have to equal 27. Well, the first term is just first term. The third term, I don't like the way it's written, a a it, it was written. The third term is right here, third term would be right here a1 plus 2k, a1 plus 2k, and the fifth term is right here, a1 plus 4k, and that has to equal 27. Let's combine the like terms, let's combine the like terms, see what we can find out. So we have a1 here, we have a1 here, we have a1 here, so we have three a1s plus plus we have 2k here and a 4k here so that's that's 6k and that we are told has to equal that we are told has to equal 27 what do we notice we notice we notice that 3 is a multiple of 3 we notice the 6 is a multiple of 3 and 27 is a multiple of 3 Let's divide the entire equation by 3, shall we? Let's divide the entire equation by 3. In other words, let's divide every single term by 3. The first term we're going to divide by 3, this term is going to be divided by 3, and this term by 2, to simplify it. Now let's see what we get. So we're going to get here a1, because 3's are going to cancel out, and 6, 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2k, equals 27 divided by 3, which is 9. So this is what we know, and this is what we need to find out. So let's put this thing, what we know, in the side here, in the corner here, what we just found out. Let's put it here. A1 plus 
2 k equals 9. That's what we just found out. Let's put it there. We're going to use it in a second. We're going to have to use it obviously. And let's answer this one. A2 plus A4. How much is it? Let's do it. Find out. A2 plus A4. A2 plus A4 is how much? Well, A2 we know is A1 plus K. That's the second term. And the fourth term is simply the first term plus 3K. Isn't it? Let's combine them together. This is A1. So we get A1 and A1. That's 2A1 plus K and 4K. K and 3K. That's going to give us 4K. So far so good. We have a two here, two here, we have a four here, let's take it, let's take two common. So that if we take the two common, we get a1 plus 2k right here. And we know what a1 plus 2k is. a1 plus 2k is 9. Right there. a1 plus 2k is 9. There we go. So it's just 2 times 9. The answer is the sum of the second term and the fourth term equals 18. Equals 18. That's the answer. 18 is the answer. And if you're curious, the good news is that the good news is that the majority of the people did get it right. Bad news is that majority of the people got it wrong. Oh, sorry, almost almost half the people got it wrong is what I meant to say. O almost half the people, 49% of the people got it wrong. But we could make a claim proudly that majority of the people had no trouble with it, even though it's only 51%, but it is majority nonetheless. Let's do 25. Let's do 25. Enough of the talk. There's going to be a lot of writing involved in 25. So you're going to have to bear with me. I have to put it on the blackboard. So we have a Make sure the book is in front of you. Read the problem yourself. So we have water supply, we are told. Water supply. Enough. Enough to last 21 days. For 15 people. Question is how long Will it last for nine people? And of course you have to read the problem yourself in the book because I put, put a very abridged version of it in the book. They are more elaborate, they are more detailed and they do not leave out any nitty gritty. It says a desert outpost had a water supply that is sufficient to last 21 days. It's sufficient to last 21 days, which I simply phrase as it's enough to last 21 days. For 15 people. If the same average rate of water consumption per person, at the same rate of water consumption per person, which I left out here, you understood it, the rate of consumption of course has to be the same, how many days would the water supply last for nine people? Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out, let's find out nine people. Let's find out. So we know that it will last 21 days for 15 people. How do we know that? Because it says so. It will last 21 days for 15 people. Well, if it can last 21 days for 15 people, how long do you suppose it will last? How long do you suppose it will last if it's set up 15 people if we only had one person? If we only had one person, it should last 21 times 15. So, if 21... If it lasts 21 days for 15 people, it must last, it should last 21 times 15. It's, this statement implies that it must last 21 times 15 days for one person. It makes perfect sense. If you have something, if you have something and you tell me that that thing is going to last 10 days for three people, well, if it can last, if the amount of food can last for 10, uh, for 10 days for three people, then instead of, if you have the same amount of food, and instead of three people, if you only had one person, it should last 30 days. Assuming everybody is consuming the same amount of food, do you understand? That's always the assumption that shouldn't have to be spelled out. That's all it is. So if, if, if it lasts 10 days for 3 people, it must last for 30 days for 1 person. The same logic applies here. 
If it lasts 21 days for 15 people, it must last 21 times 15 days for one person. But we don't have one people, we have nine people. So that in turn implies that if we had nine people, it will last 21 times 15 over nine days for nine people. Because if you had twice as many people, it will last half as much. So if something that lasted 20 days, if you have twice as many people, it will last only 10 days. If something that lasted 20 days, and if you have four times as many people, it will last only last five days. Obviously. You understand? Let's find out. Let's see if we are done. Let's simplify it and we are done. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. I see 15 and 9. Let's divide 9 will become 3 and 15 will become 5. And then I see 21 and 3. Let's divide 3 by 3 again. And 21 has 7. 3, 7, 3 is a 21. That's it. Whatever that answer is, is what we are looking for. So here we have a 7. And here we have a 5. So the answer is, it will last us. The amount of water that we have will last us for 35 days. Will last us for 35 days. If, if, instead of, if, instead of 15 people, we only had 9 people. That's all. Again, if you're interested in percentile, more than we can probably say we can probably say that more than a third of the people got this question right but then again at the same time almost two-thirds bombed it i don't know why almost two-thirds of the people did, did not get it right when this when this question appeared in the real exam only 34 percent managed to do it tomorrow on day number 41 We'll begin the next section, the very next section that you see on the very next page, on page number 361. And again, we'll take 10 days, 10 videos to finish that section. And that section, the next section will last from day 341 through 350. You understand? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.